Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Raymond and Linda with Freedom Detour, and we are hanging out down here in South Texas and uh, just kind of trying to figure out how to drive on the roads down here, and uh, I thought I would do a little expose on some of the stuff going on in South Texas, and y'all are crazy down here. Example numero uno. Okay, I am literally doing 80 miles an hour. Look at my rear view mirror. That's like four feet behind me at 80 miles an hour, and this is common. I mean, I'll get over, but holy cow, dude. And now he's going to race up here to the next car and ride him until he gets over. And you'll see lines of like four cars all doing like 90 miles an hour inches apart. So generally the roads in Texas are pretty well horrible. I don't know what's going on with uh, the ground underneath the roads, the substrate. It just, it's uh, terrible. And you, you'll be going along like 80 miles an hour. Oh, this is these. Those are nice. Five inch gaps in the freeway. I think. I So once everybody's pushed you and got you jacked up to like 80, 90 miles an hour, you'll run across these huge dips in the road. I mean, they're just like, they're just like, you swallow your whole car. I mean, the compression, you know, it's like snaps your spine when you dip into one of these holes. I'm not sure what a big truck like this does, but it's got to be brutal. So when you're from the Northwest, you're used to seeing vertical traffic lights such as this. Yeah, so here you have the uh, horizontal traffic light situation I was talking about, and you got a green arrow but then there's a red light. So if you're in the turn lane, you're like, wait, is the turn lane stopped or am I supposed to be able to turn left? You just feel like you're gonna get smushed. Yeah, so then you got your uh, divided highway, two lanes going both directions with a space in between that you're supposed to get to. It's like a high stakes version of Frogger. If you time it wrong, well, you know, you get whammo! And then this guy, he's going to turn right in front of me. Well, that makes it fun. And now i got to get back onto this other road here, where everybody's also doing like 120 miles an hour. Yeah, so here we have your uh, typical side road deal. And uh, it's a two-laner, so you got to cut across traffic, avoiding whoever might be coming the other way, to get on the off-ramp. This is the actual off-ramp, and these are all over Texas, and they're kind of spooky sometimes. All right, so here you have your um, legitimate exit off the freeway, and uh, you got to be paying attention because if you forget that there's those frontage roads, you don't expect a stop sign and two-way traffic to be ahead. So if you're not paying attention... So this is what's known as the Texit. When you're bombing down the freeway and you decide you don't want to be there anymore and you'd rather be on the frontage road, you just rip off into the grass on the right side and uh, make your own way. And if that's not cool enough, you can also go the other way where you get from the side road and you jump off onto the freeway through the grass median. This is what's known as a Texas U-turn. You think you're going to be oncoming traffic right here and get you killed, but it's just a under the bridge and right back out again. And that's if you, like, didn't take the right exit like somebody might have done. I'm just saying, use the left lane to keep left. You know what you're talking about. All right, so once you kind of get the idea of the Texas turnarounds and that you're not going to die, I mean, credit where credit is due, I kind of like those. That's pretty slick. So the last item on our crazy Texas road list is the loop highways. These are all over small town Texas with some of the smaller towns having at least one beltway. San Antonio has two loops around the city, but Houston has three. And a lot of these are huge four lane highways, not just small one laners. So it does make it pretty quick to get to the other side of the city without having to cut through town with all the stoplights. So that's it everyone, that's our Texas road rage review. If you enjoyed the content, Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.